second double for Schwarzier. It's only now when you look back you feel how special it was and what it created. When Royal Ascot look back in it, they'll thank Schwarzier for the onslaught recurring over the last number of years. I'm Johnny Murta, and in 2003, I put the Aussie sprinters on the map. King Stan's day that day didn't start very well for me. I was riding a two-year-old in the Coventry Stakes, and he reared over on top of me, entering the barriers. I was in bad shape, my back was sore, and just as I entered the weigh room, Michael Canan had the colours on, and he's going, are you riding in the next or not? No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, my back's fine, so I nearly didn't get to make the race. When I entered the parade ring, there was a little old guy leading him round, and he says, Johnny, he says he's got two speeds, he's got slow, and he's got very, very fast. So make sure you get to the barrier, nice and relaxed. So I climb on board, and he's pulling his head down, and he's wrenching me down, and my back is in bits. And when I got to the start, and my arms were like Popeye, and the Tory looks over me and goes, all right, son, you don't look too good. I was able to relax when he got into the stalls. They're all in. He was drawing stall eight, but he jumped pretty good. And they're off the racing for the King's stand. He was pulling me so hard, I just said, I'm just going to jump this lad out and sit up on his neck for the first half of the race. It was a Hong Kong horse. He got these big yellow blinkers, so I wanted to get the rail, but I had to clear him first. Schwarzy, a guy like the wind for Johnny Murder. For the first two furlongs, I was kind of two, three wide, looking in, looking in. And as soon as I let him go and give him a backhander, he just exploded. It was over. The Aussie's going to do it. Schwarzy coming home to win the King's Stand. Of what a day it was, you know, the King's Stand stakes, winning on a horse like Schwarzy. It's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling. The Aussie's, like, winning in Royal Ascot. She couldn't ask for it. When I got off, I remember Paul Perry saying, going to run him again on Saturday, mate, in the Golden Jubilee. He'd be much better. In Europe, we don't usually back them up that quick. It was all new, and I suppose everybody thought he was mad. <laughs> when we got to the Jubilee, took a few painkillers, and we walked the track, and he was drawn 20. I made a plan that I'm going to go straight for as long as I can and drift over to the rail if he's clear of the field. Waiting for two or three, Choisir is one, zipping another. Took a while to load these today. A little bit agitated, everybody was on edge. This was a pretty stacked field. There was a couple of very good horses in it. I think the favourite was Airwave, the big hope from Henry Candy. She was unbeaten. Gates are back, they're off and racing. He bounced out well. First two and a half furlongs, it just kept straight. Choisir leads a little group down the centre of the track by a couple of lengths. As we're getting down to the two, I can see the two coming. I just let him drift over onto the rails. Choisir leads the way and is inching across from Malho. He dug deep and he took a few lengths out of the field. Choisir is in front again at Ascot. Here comes Airwave with a thundering late run. But Airwave, she was coming. Choisir by a half length to Airwave and Choisir is holding Airwave. With the last three strides, you knew you had it done. And a remarkable Royal Ascot double for Schwarzier. He just kept responding. He was so tough, he was so genuine. He was a great horse. And I rode some of his great sons and daughters down through the years, and it was always special when your nice two-year-old who were riding was by, by Schwarzier. You felt you were part of, part of history.